If you're starting a brand, I want to talk to you about labels. If you're thinking about starting a brand, I want to talk to you about labels. So, people tend to leave that to the end when they're first starting out because they have other things to worry about, sure. But I want to make a case for the label. So, the first one, the most common one, is a printed satin. It's cheap, it's easy, people know it, people like it, totally okay to use. Next one you've probably seen a lot tagless or heat transferred on right there can't feel it labelless tagless also great also easy to use also pretty customizable but I would make a bid for my favorite type of label which is a woven you can get really fun with it they're a little bit stiffer a little bit more expensive but I think that they have a really great added value um, specifically for me, if people are trying to get my attention, I love a fun label. I think they're great. These are all wovens. And then if you're going for a more vintage style, wovens are also often what's used in them. So here's an old lens and fisherman sweatshirt that has a woven. And let's see what this one has. Yep, there we go. A more simple woven label, but a woven label nonetheless. So you get a printed satin. You can get a tagless heat transfer. Uh, you can kind of do a mix of all of them if you really wanted, though I maybe stick to two. And then uh, most people will put. There it is. Most people put a little tag on the outside too. This is a woven one, but I'm sure you've seen Nike. They all have the exterior logo labels. So. Don't leave labels to the end. Think about them as soon as you can, as soon as you got a brand, and think of what the best use of a label would be for your customer.